so as you can see in the title this video is showing you how i turned this basic mannequin head from my custom wig into a bomb beat baddie so i got this mannequin off of amazon i think it was like 70 dollars, and i'll link it below but this is how it was packaged and this is how sis looks right out the box so for her makeup, I went and got some ColourPop foundation and concealer. I'm going to put all the specs and information of all the makeup I use in the description below. So check that out. I wanted her to be a little bit more darker, a little bit more tan. So this is the shade I chose. And yeah, it worked out perfectly. With the foundation, I'm basically going to put the foundation on the brush and then rub it in her face. Well, okay, I'm not even going to say rub because y'all i struggled so much with this because sis does not have pores so there's no rubbing there's no blending that's non-existent so i basically learned that you have to like pat because the more i rub the more the makeup was coming off i was so frustrated i was literally about to say i'm not doing this no more but i figured it out and clearly she turned out bomb so just continue watching and following along i'm literally just doing her makeup as i would do my own makeup and You'll see me struggle a little bit, but like I said, all the makeup specs and shades and everything are going to be in the description below. And yeah, keep watching. I haven't named her yet. I just keep calling her sis or little girl because I don't know what to name her. My Instagram followers said I should name her Natalie or Bayliana. What do y'all think? Comment below what y'all think her name should be. So contouring and bronzing and sculpting your face is like my favorite part of makeup, but it was really hard with little girl. I was trying, I was trying to blend. I thought I messed up at first. I thought I went too dark, but I got it together. You just have to keep patting and keep on trying to blend. Cause like I said, blending is non-existent, but I eventually got it. So yeah. I talk too much in my voiceover so I try to not talk as much in this voiceover tutorial so let me know if it's like better or if y'all would rather me explain as I'm doing it I don't know I just feel like I just get repetitive like you can see what I'm doing and be able to know what I'm doing but maybe I'm wrong so let me know So moving on to the eyes, I just got a Q-tip and I just cleaned the makeup that got in her eyes. And also her lashes were like really in the way, especially when I was doing the eyeshadow. So I was just kind of trying to push those down. Like you'll see me do that. I was thinking about cutting them, but then I thought like when I put on the lashes, you're going to see the lash line. So you just got to kind of move those out the way and just maneuver around them and it'll be easy. Doing her brows wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be because honestly her original brows weren't that bad so I pretty much just kind of darkened them out and just filled them in a little bit more and clean it up with concealer and that's pretty much all I did for the brows.
the pink shadow you see on her eyelids that was just me kind of trying to experiment and see like how the pigment was going to show up and what i was going to do so just ignore that i ended up putting concealer over it and starting over so yeah that's why that's there Okay, so for the eyeshadow, y'all, I didn't know how this was going to turn out. I really was just like, I don't even know. I just did whatever. I didn't even plan it out. But I knew I wanted pink, and I used the Morphe palette. I can't think of the exact palette right now, but that's in the description below. And in that palette, I used the hot pink, the plum color, like right underneath it, and then the black. And then obviously the glitter, and that's by NYX. So again, all of that is in the description. And I just packed the color on as best as I could. Like I said, blending was non-existent. So I tried my best to kind of blend it out. But yeah, you just kind of, you just got to work with it. And oh yeah, the brushes I used were all Morphe brushes. Um, the eyeshadow brushes I used. Um, so that's kind of what I did. I used a lot of blending brushes and poofy brushes. I don't know the exact name for them. But yeah, just to make sure it was all blended out as best as I could. And just keep on watching. For the cut crease, I use the Urban Decay Primer. I've had this for like so long, literally. And then I also use the NYX Glitter Primer. So that's basically what I'm putting on the eye before I put the glitter. And then the glitter, I just packed it on with the flat brush. And that's how I got the glitter on there. It was going everywhere. So I had to, that's why I put the powder under her eye so I could just, you know, sweep it off. But yeah. my favorite i went in with my 25 millimeter lashes these are from my old lash collection today is saturday august 1st and my anniversary week is coming up and meet monday is on monday august 3rd and i am dropping seven new lash styles so go check that out y'all and go buy some lashes i have 16 millimeter lashes and 25 millimeter mill oh i can't even talk millimeter lashes and these are from my old collection these are going to be on clearance so if y'all want to get this go ahead and get it 
I went in under her waterline and I used the same colors I used on her lid and just blended it out and cleaned it up as much as I could and that basically completes the eye look. Now I'm just literally repeating what I did on that eye on this eye. So I just kind of sped through this. This eye took me not as much as time because I knew what I was actually doing this time. So yeah. To finish her off, I added some cream blush from Fenty Beauty and I also used some of that plum eyeshadow too to give her face some color. And then I added some highlight, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then some lip gloss from ColourPop. Again, everything is going to be in the description. So look at that and boom, she's a baddie, period. She looks good. So for the reveal, this is before and then this is after. Y'all, she looks like a completely different person. Like, comment below what y'all think. Do y'all like it? Did y'all like before? Do y'all like after? What do you think I should have done differently? Like, just tell me how y'all think she looks because I think sis looks good. She looks good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. All right, bye y'all.